Welcome all, my name is Pratik Saurabh. In this video, I am going to emulate an environment that of a small or mid-sized company. So, let's have a look what we are trying to achieve here. When I say a small size company um, or a mid-sized company, I am taking into consideration that it doesn't have only one office, but there are um, multiple sites. So, over here I have taken example of two sites. Let's say we have uh, the main headquarters say in New York and another site is in New Jersey. Uh, this is our very basic setup, like usually you expect that the company would be having an, an exchange server and uh, definitely it would be having a print server, file server, some kind of network monitoring server. So we will look into all that uh, later on, but this is the basic setup. Over here we have a modem. I have placed the modem in bridge mode. It's bridge to a router. This is a Roseville router um, and I have flashed it with DDWRT. You can um, get the details about all those things over my blog. Um, I won't be talking much um, in this video, but yeah, so the modem is in bridge mode, so when I place the modem in bridge mode for the outside world, the internet, now it sees my router as the point of contact. And the purpose of doing so was because I already had a router and um, I will have more control over my network um, if I happen to use this scenario. Moreover, DDWRT has got a lot of options like open VPN, etc., etc that definitely my the um, the uh, modem com router that was given to me by my ISP was not having all those functionality so to have a greater control and access over my network um, I have bridged my modem I asked especially my uh, ISP to just place a modem not a modem com router then we have a domain controller over here then we have another uh, domain controller here I have a router placed over here Vyata and which will be doing the routing and uh, replication over here so yeah this is the basic set was, um, um, setup for our network so let's get started um, right now I already have a lab um, before I was making this video I was just practicing it before so the kind of lab that we were looking over here I have already um, this is the lab that we are looking over here I have already made it this is how the lab might look like later on so but I'm going to show you again how to do it from the scratch so the very first thing that we are going to do is like um, I'm going to format my data store and uh, I'm going to install VMware so I will show show how to do that so to f um, right now um, in my data store you know all these um, virtual servers data is there so I'm going to format that for that I'm going to use gparted uh, I don't want to waste a CD so I'm going to make a bootable USB with gparted in it so I have just installed a USB right now and I will be using a tool there are a lot of tools that uh, we can use uh, to make um, a bootable USB there is one uh, Lily that is uh, a Linux live USB creator um, similarly there are many such softwares that you can use um, the one that I'm going to use here is Unibootin um, I guess yeah here it is okay so this is my drive um, it is it is having my BIOS for my motherboard that I uh, upgraded earlier because it was showing some 
problem with my ESXi VMware server so I have to upgrade my motherboard BIOS so yeah that is what it is so now I'm going to um, make this USB as a bootable G parted so for that all you have to do is just um, um, go to disk image choose ISO and browse the ISO the G parted ISO uh, it, I have already downloaded it it's on my laptop here it is G parted uh, this G drive is my USB drive type just select USB uh, right now I have only one USB drive inserted if you will have more than one then you can see all that over there so yeah that's it just you have to click OK and it will format um, we make it uh, as um, G parted USB drive So it's going to take a couple of minutes or so to make this a bootable USB. Alright, so that's done. So now I can eject my drive. Also, I will just uh, rename this as G parted just for my convenience. Alright, so now we'll pause the video. Uh, next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to format my hard disk. 